Here we have an experiment called colored shapes. The purpose of this experiment is to test the subject's reaction time by showing them a colored shape containing a number. The subject will then press the number on the keyboard that corresponds with the number shown. To start, there are three main factors of this experiment. The color of the shape, the shape itself, and the number within the shape. We can cross all three of these factors into a list that can be used as a block list or a trial list within eStudio. To do this, we can use the Factor Table Wizard. Factor Table Wizard can be found on the C drive under Program Files, PST, EPrime 2.0, Program, Factor Table Wizard. To start, we create a new factor. The first factor that I mentioned is the color of the shape. There are three levels to the color of the shape. It can either be red, blue, or yellow. Factor Table Wizard has created one column with three levels as I specified. However, each level has a question mark until I rename it. We'll rename these red, blue, and yellow. The next factor is the shape itself. The shape itself will be either a circle, a square, or a triangle. A circle, square, or a triangle. The final factor is the number. The number will be either a 1, a 2, a 3, or a 4. Finally, once all factors are created, we can click the Cross Factors button to create a list. As I mentioned earlier, this list can be used within eStudio to create a block list or a trial list. To do this, select the white part of the list, right-click, and select Copy. Next, open up eStudio. Find the list, in this case we'll be using the block list, select the first row, right click, and hit paste. Now eStudio has copied the list from the factor table wizard into the block list. However, the three attributes have not been named. We can rename these very easily by double clicking and renaming them. By using Factor Table Wizard, we were able to effectively create a list which can be used as a block list within eStudio. This can be used within the experiment to run trials or to run blocks.